But speaking of Fedor, if we take you out of the picture, mm. who are the greatest mixed martial arts uh, fighters of all time? Uh, I I feel you out of the picture. As a cop out to some degree, I feel like we need a little bit more time, you know, so to 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 see how how this unfolds, because you got to compare a lot of things. And I uh, did I did I I think I'm like I did centuries. An I did an interview. <laughs> I don't know about centuries, but that would help if we can keep accurate records and and not allow uh, too much uh, bias to to fa to fall in too much propaganda. The victors tell yeah, the good story, luck. right? Yeah, but um, I made an argument. Uh, I was in an, I, I get a, it was, it was a interview with an MMA outlet of some sort, and I can't recall who it was, but, oh, it was an argument about will the winner of Cain Velasquez versus Stipe Miocic be the greatest MMA heavyweight of all time? And I said, fucking no way. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it was Cormier and Miocic. That's what it was. I said, absolutely not, not even close. And I said, these guys need a bit more time to see how things go and also how things go for some of their opponents. And like, there's, there's more factors than just this one fight. It really is. And I go, and when you want to weigh these people, even if let's say we'll bring Alistair or uh, yeah, Alistair Overeem into the, into the equation. Okay. You judge him on what you know now, what he's done for you lately. Okay. Right. Which is a, a very myopic way of doing it. Yeah. What has he done over his career? K1 champion. Uh, he was a champion in uh, uh, Dream. Um, he strike force, blah, blah, blah. His overall record, the entirety of all the, the different opponents he's fought. And I just sit back and I go, I, okay, he's not the UFC champ, but his accolades, his merits, in some ways actually stand up higher than Cormier's and Miocic's. So what about the moments, do you give much value to the special moments, like the highest heights you rise to, not in terms of records mm -hmm. or the strikes landed, but just creating a magical moment in, in, a, in, a, in a fight. It doesn't have to be even a championship fight, but just, you know, Conor McGregor yes. is an example of somebody who creates a narrative, who creates mm -hmm. a story, who creates mm -hmm. a drama and a special magic happens, even if it's like not myth, with- like Myth is greater than reality. And that is always the case. But do, do you? And so I understand that so very much. And it takes an asshole like me to to poo poo on your myth. Yeah. To at least get you at the end of the day, you're not going to abandon your myth, but um, perhaps temper it with the facts and logic. <laughs> but uh, so but, you're not a fan of myth. No, I'm an absolute massive fan of myth. But you, you know, prefer facts and logic. It's like, it's like when I, no, I mean, it, they're, they're, <laughs> I, I like saying facts and logic because people, I also, I am not a materialist in that sense. I don't think that materialism can solve for everything. It's not enough. It's not It's not robust enough. I'm sorry. If facts and logic and or uh, reason, as the Enlightenment scholars all thought, uh, including Marx, was enough for people, yeah. then we would never, we wouldn't have any religions. Yeah. We wouldn't have any, uh, like, there would be no, we wouldn't have narratives and myths and all this kind of stuff. It would yeah. not, it just, I'm sorry. There is no, there's nothing about history that, supports the idea that rationality will over will, yeah, the, will overcome all there's something about ben shapiro's facts don't care about your feelings that feels to be miss feels to be <laughs> missing something fundamental about human nature it's not clear to me well, he, exactly what is missing to give old old, 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 old ben, old, old, old ben <laughs> uh, a fair shake yeah. And, uh, you know, I don't know Ben Shapiro. I don't really listen to Ben Shapiro, not against Ben Shapiro. Um, I don't, I'm not here to say anything particularly bad about him. Uh, although I will say at one time, Tom Arnold was seemingly trying to pick an actual fight with Ben Shapiro. In the ring. Uh, he, uh, or in somewhere. A, yeah. Just, and I just, and I actually responded like, are, and I tried to get him to clarify, say, Hey, are you saying that you want to fight Ben Shapiro that you're looking to actually, cause I was waiting for him to say something and then I can be like, okay, well, it's one thing to want to get into a fight with someone. It's another thing to go pick on a little tiny, you know, guy like Ben, who's much smaller than you and doesn't train or whatever. But you know, if it's not me, I can find someone your size and you can go fight him. Yeah. You know, don't be a, basically don't be a bully piece of shit. Yeah, you know, it, which by the way, Tom Arnold, you are a mental midget. You are never going to be able to compete even with Ben Shapiro in an argument on any level. 
about anything. Oh, intellectual argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An intellectual argument. You could sc- maybe you can scream louder than him, but whatever. <laughs> but but nevertheless, in the discussion of greatness in fighting, I think you you need to look are at numbers. Some of the, you so need there's to look numbers, at some of the numbers, and there's the magic. There is some the context also in that. Where did Alistair Overeem fight? Oh, he fought in Pride, where you could soccer kick people and stomp their heads and this and that. And so the 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 game environment is actually different too. There's so, more uncertainty. There's more chaos in right. Pride. There's more. Go back a little further and go like, what about the guys that used to like Dan Severn fought bare knuckle, head yeah. butts, the whole nine. You did, beat Dan Severn, right? I did beat Dan Severn. That was that was killing an idol, so to speak. Although I didn't really kill him because I still love him. He's, you know, he's still an I. I mean, he's still responsible for inspiration along this whole pathway you know yeah. it's it's meeting meeting your god and then putting a knife in it i guess <laughs> uh realizing they're human and then uh, bringing them down well, to your level exactly but also uh, there's a there's a huge misconception there and that is that i could bring maybe i could bring dan severin down to my level but i couldn't bring his mustache down to my level uh, oh it is it is of mythic proportions and uh greater than yours great your facial you know, hair is greater than yours my facial hair is 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 creating its own legacy, but it is not Dan Severn mustache level or now Don Fry mustache. So Don Fry mustache, Dan Severn mustache. You know now you have like Shia versus Sunni. Like, right. it's- <laughs> <laughs> you think there will be a uh, Karl Marx uh, like painting of Josh Barnett one day with the beard? And is that is that basically what you're? I hope so. For? I'll I will actually comb my hair, unlike Marx. But uh, um, Cha- chaos is. Uh, has a charm to it it so does it does i mean uh we all thought doc brown and back to the future was was quite charming so you have, uh, to, you have to throw that into the calculation where they fought yes I mean, this is the and, how, and the rules things. that they fought under you know some guy like eager vote Chanchin won a 32 man tournament or something like that i go okay uh stipe and daniel cormier are awesome and they may they will they will for sure be uh revered as when they're as for their careers 100 percent. can you say that they're particularly even better overall than eager of changing well maybe one of them could have beat them maybe maybe one of them wouldn't have you know maybe maybe eager would have fucking got them with the knuckles right away well maybe if they fought them in pride they wouldn't have won maybe if they fought them bare knuckle they wouldn't won i don't know and you there's know? something about the chaos like do you put who is gracie in the top 10 you know there's something Hoist, about uh top 10 of all time in terms of competitors uh, is capable um i don't know i'd have to think about that maybe not but i because put Hoist gracie as like pyramid level like wow dude what a what an amazing man yeah he's so important absolutely incredibly important but there's something about stepping into uh like fighting another human being mm-hmm. under all the uncertainty that the early mm-hmm. ufc's had mm-hmm. i mean you don't know yep what is going to happen and couple that with not much money yep all of it yes so that the purity of it too there's something about money i mean that, i guess yes, shit that, for that yes. in the capitalist world but that <laughs> ruins the purity of the violence yeah people given the opportunity for yeah yeah well uh, the bigger things get the more i love the fact that that fighting has opened up to such a degree that the career business side of it because i i absolutely distinctly separate the two the business side of it has opened up to give me far more possibilities open way more doors for me than i ever intended it to uh whereas the the athlete side of things has if anything just gotten substantially worse i would say and uh some of this can be some of this is due to all the 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 nature of all games will be learned will be gamed uh without even the rules being broken and once that's figured out you need to make an adjustment no adjustments have been made so the game just appears to be the same game over and over and over and over and over again on ESPN plus on whatever, on whatever, on whatever. It doesn't really matter which night you watch. It's the same game constantly. And that's not because the, the, the athletes are worse or better. It's because they have had that game uh, structure long enough that they figured out 
what do you do to be to be the most successful at it? What is the highest percentage way of approaching it, essentially, even if you're not thinking of percentages? 